it's Kendra and this is the weekly watch list. I love to watch and today we are reacting to X-Men episode 5, Remember It. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, well... We're here. We're at episode 5. A couple people in my comments kept telling me that I will oh, wait till I get to episode 5. It's going to blow my mind. Um, I also, just because I'm kind of tired of not knowing what the fuck is going on, I did a little bit of homework. Um, I watched a little bit of New Rock Stars and Screen Crush just to figure out, you know, who everybody was mostly. I know a lot more about the Forge and Storm storyline now um, and that whole arc and I mean, I hope I didn't spoil myself because Forge did something that has to do with the adversary and why the adversary is there, I think, um, because Storm lost her powers, um, which is a really cool storyline from the comic books. Um, I don't think they're going to adapt every single thing about it, at least I hope. Just listening to a couple of people's takes on it, it seems like they are going to stick pretty close to storylines from the comic books, which is really exciting because I don't read the comic books, so this is my chance to sort of like learn about some of those storylines and see them sort of like unfold in like full motion color, um, which is really cool. I also learned a little bit more about Madeline Pryor, you know, and her whole deal and like the whole retcon situation with Jean Grey and wanted to kind of like reboot her for Scott, her sort of involvement in a few other storylines. So that's been kind of interesting. I got a couple of notes in the comments about uh, this being of course, not meant for kids, even though it's on Disney Plus. Um, and that's cool. I get that. I understand that. I think it's mostly from a nostalgic point of view that I'm remarking on those types of things because, like I said, my memory on this is so fuzzy. I just have very fond feelings, I guess, more than memories from this show. And of course, who can ever forget that theme song? And of course, you know, you don't really forget the sort of iconic figures of Beast, Wolverine, P Professor Xavier, you know. So it's not like I don't know who they are, but a lot of what happened to them in that original series, I just can't remember because it was so long ago, frankly. <laughs> um, but you know what? It actually, this actually might make me go back and rewatch that original series. I might not react to it for the channel, <clears throat> but. I think a rewatch is definitely in order just to get myself up to speed and then the next X-Men 97 week I'll be definitely up to speed and like understanding a lot more about what's going on. Okay so enough chitter chatter. It's time to get to the episode. I'm so excited. Um, the last episode was really good. I had um, a good time. It was short but this one is 37 minutes I think. I spy somebody in this key art that looks familiar. Is that Nightcrawler? Ooh, I'm so excited. See, I don't, like, I'm not completely dumb and ignorant about everything. Um, anyway, yeah, it's a Saturday morning. Hopefully, if I'm editing as fast as I hope that I am. <laughs> so let's get some fucking fruit loops. I have coffee, because I'm an adult. Um, and uh, yeah, let's watch, let's watch an X-Pen 97. <laughs> Ooh, cables in this. Okay, so I also found out that Nathan is Cable from the future. So that should be cool. Ooh, that's Nightcrawler! Okay. Okay. Was it, caused by it always opens with, new, with news. Is it nature Don't know what it's cool. Some call them monsters, but all over the planet they are known as mutants. mutants. We prefer to see it as a world that oh, misunderstands look at Beast us. In his suit with them, his helping us build legs those bridges. The journalist is esteemed as yourself. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with feet. a renowned <clears throat> scientist such as yourself. <laughs> he was <laughs> delighted. He's blushing. <laughs> he blushes too, my dear. Here in Westchester County sits an unassuming English estate, a school for mutants. Look at this PR going on for the mutants. Charles Xavier. Not like regular boring classes. It's like a, More what is this, like a 60 minute now, special or something? With big death machines and vampire dinosaurs. <laughs> For many of the X-Men, Xavier's oh, school is the Scott. only home they've ever known. Ooh, Best how are they belong. getting along? Okay, so I'm noticing that original Jean 
as the UN usually wears her hair in a ponytail the and Nation former Jean Madeline Pryor wears her hair down. So that's how you can tell. So Gambit. now I understand Gambit. which one gave the baby away, etc. We're the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <sighs> can it, you roosters? Look ahead. Stop antagonizing oh. Gambit. Busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. I'm assuming that le his last visit was when they were enslaved there, like Jubilee was saying. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, look at him. Oh, they have a new home. That's so cute. Oh. Look at the young mutants with the wing. Oh, she fell on her face. But it's cool because she's free. Not gonna lie, this uh, Genosha looks fucking fun as fuck. It looks like Disney World, but like the whole planet. Kind of. I don't know who's got the rights. Is it Universal or Disney? Somebody needs to make a Genosha. Well, would you look at you, girl? A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline hmm. Pryor scored a Oh, wow, well, they're Genosha friends. Oh, how long has it been? Man. Shit. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Hush, madame. Two always better than what? one. Forgive Gambit's passive. I didn't realize that. He insisted on coming after Rogue agreed to join me at the garden. So where are I Scott confess, and original the original gene? The was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Yeah, I hear it's called the future. <laughs> Magneto, I like her. The interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. Privately, if possible. So she is just right on up in there. So where the heck does that leave us? Oh. <laughs> Nightcrawler! <laughs> be a wet bird on a live wire. Where has he been? Wagner, how the heck are you? Dude, I forgot. Did he just like take off? Meine Freunde. Meine Freunde. These are things to see. Such wonders in this city. Long as he left those faithful killer monks of his back at the monastery. Ah, oh, scimitar tongue gambit. You remain as always. We have much to discuss. I Come really to... love Nightcrawler. Admittedly, I only re-learned about him watching like the, the movies or whatever, but I still I love the way he was performed. Just like he said it, it'd be. Who? The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. Always used to say we'd have a place all our own. No, baby, not the professor. More than a place. Oh, poor Gambit! Um, why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? Huh. Good question. Well, I mean, he has been sort of advocating and defending mutants for a while, even though... <laughs> okay, bro. Who are you? What's happening? I don't know what the... What? Huh? What? Who? I know I should be recognizing these people, but I... I know. Your poker face is very poor. Hey, mind your beeswax, Furball. It does not take a priest to see you and Rogue's souls touch in every gaze. <laughs> oh, Rogue is Ain't so touch she be looking for. <laughs> you Americans, so theatrical. Life is violins and close. <laughs> I blame so <laughs> Okay, get to the Gals point, German. Like me, we don't get no white picket reward. We do for is the Dormen so Toilette? There is no love without sin. Love is best measured in what we forgive. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Scott Summers, also known as Cyclops. Cyclops. Well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby, it's to expect the unexpected. I always kept that in mind as field leader. Hey, uh, those shades are weirding out the lights. Can you take them off? No, uh, I will blow y'all up. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, back as team leader. Actually, <laughs> let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. I hear you're the X-Men's power couple. When did you know she was the one? Oh no, memory lane, don't make him do it. Hard to interview someone who can't tell which parts of her memories belong to her and which parts belong to her clone. Even reacquainting myself with my psychic powers feels strange. Where like is the she? face of an old friend seen from every angle Are you like in a your memory. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years, <laughs> and you know it. You forget that Logan is like a century or so old, old ass man. Still ain't talking. He's grieving. Maybe that's why he has the fortitude to watch the love of his life marry and have a baby with somebody else. Just acquired the power of a cosmic entity. Because he's been in it for a while. Oh, right. You were there. Yes, he was there. I asked Scott to go on a picnic at sunset. 
She seemed nervous when I asked her to go out. Like she didn't trust me. He was scared. I wanted to show her how their point of views are so different. She was still and they a remember it so differently. My books out of my hand when I ran into her on the first day of school. But I could already feel the universe speaking to me. And then she takes off my ruby glasses. I needed to anchor myself because every fiber of me hungered to leave and travel the cosmos right then. And nothing happened. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts. And we could see each other's eyes. His eyes made me stay. Oh my yeah. god. I know all about drowning in memories. Best to look up and keep paddling. Because the That's past so will sweet yank you under and if you so don't. Sad. Oh. Get how many sunrises. She remembers sunrises. being in love and the only ever seen one. Yeah, she's you right. Oh. The one. Logan. Whoa! What? Logan, I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Uh? Enough said. Now go talk to that overgrown boy scout. Oh, Logan. Now, parenthood. Jean... Jean and I don't have any kids. Oh, no. oh, no. who are you, Scott? Strange. I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world that mutants are just like us. Why lie? We fight, risk our lives for you. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Ooh! Hoo -hoo! He's not wrong. We need a handsome jawline. Okay, I learned a little, but I don't know everything. Mr. Child King. I know who she is. That's Don't go filling this man's head with such notions. Whose charitable idea was it to let Emma Frost be on the council? You eclectic allotment of social <laughs> climbers wish for me to rule Genosha, hilarious. Don't be acting like that's Can not what you planned. Are there no others better tempered to stomach the squabble of human diplomacy? Uh, Although, I guess. But Charles be gone, Magneto. And I may not like it. But if Charles trusts you with his X Men, he trusts you with this. We were at a bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. We thought we'd perish before seeing the day when humanity accepted our people, like Moses in the Promised Land. On one condition. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? Girl, it get is. out of here. Y'all been boinking this whole time. Shut up. Mutant kind's fiercest defender. Look at you. Ooh. An X Men whose touch allows Ooh. her to feel anyone's pain. Oh. A true leader, an empathetic one. The UST. Make everyone like you and then take over? I need help. You take me for a fool. You know what? I'm kind, of kind of with Rogue. I'm kind of with Rogue, man. I deny my passion for you. Loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. We are Dude, stop it. Stop laying on the charm. Don't take it, girl. I can't believe I lost it like that. Sometimes you just... Wait, now our hair's down. Wait, 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 hold, wait, wait. Which one is this one? There are some things worth holding on to. Describe Nathan. I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. It reminds me of... Of us. <sighs> Ooh, Don't they're making up. Whoa! You can explain! Jean. If you'll excuse us, Madeline... Wait, 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 wait. Something wait. wrong, Miss Pryor? What? Mine just drifted a moment. Mine drift indeed. Oh, see, Emma, quick, get, get out of it. Was our thing, Scott. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? Uh, oh, that was, was in his mind. Go to Genosha, be with oh. my clone. Oh, 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 What you saw on the astral plane was oh. confusion. Ah. <laughs> Do you love her? Both of you. Oh. Galaxies beckoned me. But I turn my back for you. Sinister cuts out a part of me, and you love it. That wasn't love in there. It's oh, ego. She used it. The music's changing, and you need a chair. And you? You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? Do not spin this on me. Do you love me, Jean? 
Or am I just a lovely memory? What's going on here? Who did it? Oh, look at Gambit. Oh, Gambit. Uh, hey there. What's wrong, Shia? Yeah, you're about to you break this You best sit right. down. Yeah, you're going to take It was it back off. after I ran away from my daddy. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. Just not like I thought. He spent weeks talking about how mutants were special. How we'd have our own cities and culture one day. Mutant art, fashion, dance. And when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. <laughs> other things, then girl! I started seeing the hurt in him. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his demons and, and mine. He acted like it never happened. We both did. You gonna accept his offer? If yeah, he don't care sure about the story. It's that we don't need to be afraid of change. I played the Swamp Rat. And I played your share. All the expectations, looking at you, seeing all the things I couldn't do. Like telling Gambit the dang truth. I can't touch you, Remy. Damn. You Man, I'm getting emotional. Damn, shit. up everything you touch, but never me. Damn. Oh. Things be deeper than skin, Shia. I wager that fool will break your heart in two. Till then, we be friends, mon ami. Just friends. At least he's taking it well. He has a right to be angry. Look at the mutants hanging out. I forgot what this is called. Fire fest, fire raging club, fire club fest. Not enough drink change the fact that others be more dash and share. Look at her. She, she was so ready to be wined and dined and treated like a queen. Get out of here. I mean, I really, really love Remy, but he can't do that for her, which really sucks. Oh, no. Remy. Oh, he can't even fly with her. And of course, this music is good. <gasps> oh. She's uncertain, but she's going to go for it, of course. She's always wanted to be able to do that. Wait, who is giving them psychic blasts? What is it? Cable! Whoa. Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Wait, what? Oh, is she seeing stuff before it happens? Is something about to happen? Oh my god! Kill the music! Cable? You have to get everyone out! Now! He's coming! Who's coming? I said Cable! Not again. Eyes. You made it. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. Is he stuck in a time loop? What is about to happen? Whoa! He's alive. Oh my god. Rogue. He alive. Oh. So are you. Gambit. How many? <clears throat> Too many. Some vile Godzilla sent him. You go at it, win the <gasps> dead. Can't even dent it. We're trying to evacuate folks now, but the Morlocks, they they stuck in the bay, right under its belly. Oh yeah, this shit definitely oh, is not nice for kids. Oh, whoa! That is a lot of fucking sentinels! Oh, 
I draw its fire away from the gargoyles. Rogue clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. Save as many as you can. Are they the, the only, only ones? Like, who's, who's left? Then how about we spice up them rules? Who sent the goddamn Sentinels to Genosha? This dude is using a train to whip the ass of hey technical lady. Those Callisto will find us. The X Men are no friends to the Morlocks. Oh shit! Go Gambit! Go Gambit! Bonsoir, mes amis. Now kindly follow me. Good looking out, bro. Damn. Woo! Omega level threat detected. <gasps> Don't you dare, Eric! You hear me? He's trying to protect us, Rose! <sighs> Hab keine Angst. Oh no! Omega threat eliminated. Many, damn it. To reiterate for those just returning to us, regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh my. the images you are about to see may be disturbing. <laughs> Sugar, I, I can't feel you. <laughs> I have no words. That was an amazing episode. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. Let's talk about it. You know, when you guys made comments in one of my other reactions about um, this episode blowing my mind, I was not prepared. Like, I thought I wasn't prepared for some of the other things that happened. Like, Storm losing her powers really made me upset. Um, and I really <laughs> thought I knew what to expect from this show like before yeah i was like oh it's grittier or whatever you know blah, blah, blah. but i 
did not expect this at all. This made me even more emotional than Endgame when Tony Stark died or even before that when the snap happened. Like I thought that I was like sad then but like this really crushed me. Like it really, I was not expecting that hit. Like I thought like okay you know Eric is up to something. Somebody's up to something. Some Something is going on. Why did this happen? I kind of feel like this was an inside job. It's either the resistance, you know, the executioner's people, or it is an inside job as in, would Magneto kill himself and other mutants to prove a point, to, to bring about this world peace? Like, it kind of reminds me of Ozymandias from Watchmen and his whole plan to like destroy you know, to nuke like New York and some other parts of the world in order to bring people together and to unite people with, um, you know, superpower people. So is that like kind of what's going on here? Does Forge have anything to do with this? Is this the way that he does what he does because of the situation that he's in with the adversary and with Storm? I don't know. <laughs> You know, I was so proud of myself, I did my little research, but now I'm confused as ever. Um, but you know, that's part of the course with me. This was amazing. This was really good. This was a 10 out of 10. This was, this was a 10 plus out of 10. Like, I just came off like what I thought was like an amazing TV run with The Ones Who Live. But this so far has, in terms of the enjoyment that I'm getting right now, it is right up there and this episode I think actually kind of exceeded that in like just the shock value of what happened. Wow y'all were right and I'm glad that I um, am waiting to get this up with episode four. It's kind of like a two-parter because you know that one was really surprising especially at the end and so to come off of that end with like the adversary showing itself um, and then watching all of the recaps and like figuring out like who everybody is and now losing Remy and almost losing Rogue and then like then losing Eric even though you know he's only been like an enemy I guess sort of like an anti-hero so his sacrifice was really touching it was really touching I, I just I just was not I was not expecting that um so if this is like a ruse of his it worked he got me I mean I imagine it's gonna get the public and probably Scott too and Gene you know they're gonna be avenged like he said well done well done I cannot wait to get back to this um I'm going to have another X-Men week and publish another batch at a later date but right now I'm moving on to another animated series and I'm so excited to react to Invincible season two is just wrapped up so I'm gonna be reacting to all of those episodes um I really can't wait oh god what am I getting myself into the last season was brutal my sister and I reacted to it it's up on the channel I'll have it linked after this video um it was just so brutal Omni-Man is a motherfucker but he went he went away and now his son uh, Mark is taking the reins so like what's happening with Mark What's going on with his family, with his girlfriend, Amber, that everybody hates, that I don't hate, so get that straight right now. I, I'm going to first react to the Adam Eve special because I really love Adam Eve. Um, she's a really cool character, so yeah, I look forward to that. That's coming. Um, I'm going to take a little break so I can edit that and get that ready to just roll out, so be on the lookout. I'm so, so excited. Wow, what an episode. Oh, how y'all feeling? Y'all alright? I'm shooketh. Peace, you guys.